What is up everyone, Willy Apple here, and today Apple has released the final version of macOS Ventura version 13.2. In this video, I'll be showing you what is new inside of the software. The first thing has to do with our home app right here. So we're gonna take a look at our home app and go inside of one of our rooms. You will notice this new temperature and humidity sensor. Right now, it doesn't seem like it's working right now, but sometimes it does work, sometimes it doesn't work. But be sure to also have your home pod up today. Here is a room without updated home pods but if I go to a room with updated home pods you'll see that we have the new sensors right here and as you can see they are now working now on clicking it it gives you more information and apparently the temperature and humidity sensors were inside the home pod mini all along but were never used and of course this is also available on the brand new home pod Apple has just released the next thing has to do with our iCloud settings so if we were to go to our Apple ID right here scroll down to passwords and security and scroll down you'll notice this new section right here that says security key Upon clicking add, there will be a new setup process right here for security keys. And the way this works is that you plug them inside of your Mac and you'll never need to log in using a code ever again. But to be honest, I personally would rather use a code than buying two separate security keys. So upon clicking this, it will ask us that we need two security keys. I obviously don't have two security keys. But that's all okay since I'm not even going to use this. Still in our iCloud settings, we go into the iCloud section right here and scroll down. Advanced data protection is now available to all iOS 16.3 users, not just the ones in America. So you may notice that I have a wallpaper back here and you have n probably never seen it before unless you paid attention to the MacBook Pro wallpapers. You'll notice that if we take a look at the new wallpaper, you'll notice in the light and dark desktop, we have this new green one right here and we also have a purple one. I'll probably use one of these for a while and then switch them back to something else. Another thing is if we take a look at the desktop picture section, you'll notice that these have been re organized right here. So before it started with the Big Sur Mountains and the wallpapers in the front were all the way back here. Now these wallpapers right here are now front and center. I'm pretty sure Apple really wants to adopt these new kinds of wallpapers instead of the old Big Sur wallpapers that were removed with Monterey. The next thing has to do with your HomeKit devices. If you were to activate Siri and change the device, let me do that real fast. Turn on the desk light in Will's room. You'll hear that brand new sound right there. They've been inside the latest versions of iOS and macOS for a long time actually, but unused. It also works when turning off the lights as well. Turn off the lights in Will's room. And you'll see that the sound just plays anytime you toggle a HomeKit device with your Mac or iPhone. Now even though this update has not been really big, I would still like to show you the Geekbench scores. So I ran this earlier this week upon getting the final version of macOS 13.2. And here's one I pulled online with macOS 13.1. And this is the same exact device. I do not have a saved Geekbench score of macOS 13.1. And you'll notice that the Mac is a lot faster here. So this may be an indication of you wanting to update, especially if you've been having some performance issues. And as you can see right here, the base frequency is still 3.20 gigahertz on both. So this may be something that you would want to update to as soon as possible, since there are a lot of bug fixes and improvements inside macOS 13.2. Now if we take a look at what is next for Apple, um, right here is when iOS 16.3 is going to release along with macOS 13.2. And right here on Steve Jobs' birthday is when I predict we're going to get the brand new emoji update for macOS and maybe a couple of other features as well. Now with macOS Ventura, we have all the features Apple has announced with WWDC right here. So there's not much to expect with the next version besides maybe a couple of emojis. But maybe, just maybe, we can get my two biggest bugs fixed inside of macOS 13.4, which are deleting weather locations does not actually delete. You will notice that if I delete something on my Mac, when I open it on my iPhone right there, and a couple of seconds later, you will notice that the location immediately re-adds itself. This is a very annoying issue that I hope Apple can fix. And one I don't really have a video for is clock apps and alarms have a chance of not playing a notification or playing a sound. And Apple is aware of this issue, but they don't know how to fix it currently. So Hopefully, with the next version, Apple is able to fix this. That's all I have to say about macOS 13.2. Thanks for watching. Comment, like, subscribe, share this with your friends, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!